What's going on, everybody? I am Captain Robert, and this is Neon Regimes 2 Synthetic Screams number three. He got it right, ladies and gentlemen. He got it right this time. Let's go. Let's hear it for the captain. small victories when you can get them because you shot me last week i even i even threw an awkward tyson dab in man I, I was, I mean, you're feeling it mm -mm. you're feeling it oh here we are day one of three live DD. &D. i couldn't be happier i wanted this to be yesterday <laughs> <laughs> someday Someday we'll have four days of D and D. I don't know if you're. I don't know if you can handle it. You know, I'm. I'm a sicko to be able to handle that much D and D. Here's the, here's the problem though. I keep coming up with characters and voices and backstories and thoughts and ideas. And wouldn't it be cool if, <laughs> as I walk around the house in between the coffee maker and you know doing live radio in my garage. <laughs> With bullshitters like us, the stories are endless. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> you know what? There's a certain point in your life where you realize that when I start bullshitting my, <laughs> my six-year-old, I'm like, wow, she doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> she was telling me dad jokes on our hike this morning. It's adorable. And I'm gonna introduce her to the Narnia series next. So the, that imagination is going a whole new direction. It's gonna be a whole new world. Take her to the wardrobe, man. Yep, it starts on Saturday. That's when it arrives. It's gonna get in before bedtime. Oh. And that's what we're reading, because I read it to her every single night. I have it since she was a baby. Every single night I read to her. So how many, cha how many chapters story. deep do you go? Uh, it all depends until she yeah. falls asleep or yeah. I do. <laughs> yeah, see, you're, you're, uh, you're, you got a leg up on, uh, my, uh, my aunt who passed away. She used to do what's called backstories and she would draw like doodle draw on my back while she read. And my mom to this day was like, so pissed at her because that's all I'd be like, I want backstories. I want backstories. <laughs> so it was like, I have to read to you and give you this back rub. Like this, what did she create? A typical, in typical ant fashion, go in, wreck shop. And I'm like, oh, I, I only have to do this like once a quarter. <laughs> but good luck with that spoiled rat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you didn't turn out too bad. No, I, I honest to God, I think that's why like ASMR gives me goosebumps to this day, like on the back, like definitely. Cause I got read to with stories and got a bag massage. So yeah, why, why wouldn't I like Narnia? <laughs> All right. This trip down the rabbit hole has been brought to you by <laughs> uh, Memory Lane. So a true, true story on that. I did not have Turkish delight the little gelatinous candy until until i uh i went to universal studios and got it through uh through like hogwarts in it's like train station area <laughs> so what you're saying is you had turkish delight living that moment in the story yeah in hogwarts just pretty cool <laughs> that's that's that is a ton of magic right there <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool man it was pretty cool i was like oh my god and i'm like i knew what it was and like i knew it wouldn't be anything like crazy but i'm like yeah man the fucking white witch man <laughs> <laughs> this this will this will make you do horrible things man tempted by the sugar <laughs> hey when you're a kid who cares sugar sugar man just give it to me no, no, no. She gave him some sort of beverage. I can't remember the beverage's name, but it was like a uh, like a hot cocoa kind of thing. And I remember my mom would make me like uh, hot cocoa with like she would like throw like a little cinnamon in there and a whole bunch of marshmallows. And I was like, yeah, that's that's the stuff, man. 
No, so I got like part my, of it. Draw, draw my back and read my story. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, I hope you just got that mental image of me reading Radio Manga story to sleep. <laughs> Paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bad mental image of me braiding your back hair. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not that hairy. There's a much effect there. They're long though. There's just a few of them. Yeah, put put that in your fan art feather cap. <laughs> Smoke it, chat. <laughs> That's absolutely terrible. Just terrible. Oh, you never thought about cinnamon and hot cocoa? Oh, oh my god. It's next <laughs> level. Yeah, you. Um, what's the uh, what's the official uh, like the um, uh, you know they always just say Mexican hot chocolate around here, but it has a real. It's got a name. Um, I mean it's what we call it out here, but I know that it's what is it? Abuelita is the the chocolate you use in it. Oh my god, that stuff! And, and hey, if you if you don't have that, just drink the Stone Chaco Vesa beer. That goes. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, that is so. It could be a hundred degrees outside. That'd still be a refreshing beer. Jacob, Jacob Vesa, we bought every year. I bought a, I would get the, uh, I would get one of the few half barrels that came out. That was always my Christmas beer. We'd start at it at the beginning of December and we'd drink it all the way through. <laughs> uh, there's so many beers I'm going to miss that I'm like, oh yeah, I just, I'm just casually used to having 60 beers on tap that I could just go, mm. it's going to have a little oh. bit of that. You got Little a nice big back wall there. You got an office on the side you can rent out and uh, build a coal box into, and there you go. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> if it weren't for D and D, I don't know when I would be drinking in 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 quarantine life. To be honest with you. <laughs> oh, uh, cheers! Cheers to another week of quarantine, my friend. Thank you, Voodoo Ranger, for powering this RP. Mm -hmm. You guys are the best. <clears throat> So, Radio, you got any announcements this week? Oh, let's see. Um, Titans number one, Guardian Games, let's go! <laughs> Seeing you flip, my... flip open the 64 pack of crayons and starting on the end. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. But uh, you know what? I got my air apparent today while I was... Uh, in between conference calls and uh that, that's a fun gun I'm telling you that right now if we don't play see it if we don't play sea of thieves on saturday there'll, there'll be more of just shooting that at random things dude it, that gun messed me up several times when the shield went up i just wasn't <laughs> ready for that i just was not ready for that at all it's coming at you baby but other than that yeah it's just this picks off day one of three for D, &D and I, I can't wait to see where the stories go I and mean, i can't believe you shot me I like the mini GIF war that we got started. We have to do that more often. <laughs> have to do that more often. Just I'm so just busy. glad you engaged on it. I wanted, I wanted to call that little bit shot, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh man, I bet, I bet this is just prime and ripe of good gifts that we can find here. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> and then, then you got, you got third partied my mud. That's just. <laughs> Hey, at that point, just drop the mic and walk away. <laughs> true, true. Uh, announcements over here on our side. We got D and D tonight. We got D and D tomorrow, ten thirty CST. You get to have more Adam in your life and Gail Everstorm. Mm -hmm. We get to continue the story and see where it goes. For the first time, you two are going to be blazing a path together. So I really have no idea what you're going to do. Uh, I'm sure you're going to have a good conversation about your dream. That's for sure. And uh, then on Friday, it gets real spicy. Real spicy where we continue the battle in the invasion of Svardborg. That's right. There, there was a lot going on on Friday, wasn't there? <laughs> in typical fashion, whenever I seem to over prep the mission and I let the cast know of the stakes they delay for like two and a half hours in the episode 
every time I have ever done it, there is this real threat of mortality that they somehow stretch out in weird anxiety talk <laughs> leading up to it. I get nobody, it. You know, nobody, nobody, nobody wants to be the asshole responsible for the TPK. <laughs> Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I jumped into that room and didn't look around the corner. And oh, all of a sudden we walked into the Giants AA meeting and they're all going to kill us. <laughs> I, someday I'm going to learn my lesson. and I'm just going to shut my mouth and we're just going to play it out, you know. But I, I feel that I need to remind people sometimes that they are mortal. And uh, when I do that, I usually end up with multi-part combat. <laughs> No one understands that more than the person you have squashed, taken an ear from, taken a finger from, almost cut uh, an arm off from, broke armor. <laughs> I, I have been I have been grooming you as the ultimate <laughs> PC. <laughs> I've tried to kill everything that you love. <laughs> yes, I, and, and and broke his spirit by killing every white dragon he's ever tried to free. <laughs> Anything you've ever tried to free has gone south. I took away your best friend. Killed your wife. Yeah. I don't know what it's gonna take to break you, man. I can. I keep coming back week after week. I must be a sadist, really. Good lord. No, Help you're like out. everybody else that wants to write a good end to history's story. <laughs> Will there be? No one knows the question. No one knows the answer. I don't know. He's got to save one of these dragons. Hey, by the way. I never thought leading up into this about your connection, like here's another situation where history's trying to save a dragon. I swear to God, that was never, it was not on my mind at all. That just shit happened right after you lost another one. It just happened to be within the writing. So sometimes you know, those things are connected. History's just obviously destined to try to save one of these dragons. It's usually been white dragons, man. You got a bad record with white dragons. Hey, I, but you know what? It's not going to stop me from trying. Oh. Just thought about in my head. I was like, what if you, what if you lost Dante? Ooh. Ugh. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. <laughs> I mean, don't, don't, don't let me, don't let me think about how, the, how awesome the narrative would be for too long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're two episodes in on Neon Regimes 2, and you've already killed me. <laughs> hey, man, you know, every time, every now and then, you got to give a middle finger to a sniper. Or just think you're talking to some corporate pinhead and not knowing that he's a sniper. Yeah. <laughs> it's a deadly universe, my friends. It's a deadly universe. <laughs> But either way, it is good to be back with you guys live in the bulk of the week. Appreciate all the new community members that have introduced yourselves, all the new subs and lovely, lovely supporters of what we do over here. If it weren't for you, I could not sit in this chair right now and do this show with my favorite man in the world. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for supporting this crazy art form that we call live D&D. And yes, folks over on Twitch, I am live right now. You got that beautiful just... red dot that's up in the stream title that says live. That's when you know. Just popped open that chat so I can balance between them. <laughs> ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. So, let's, uh... Ooh, 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 ooh. By the way, if you guys who love D&D &D and love D&D &D Beyond, the new dice... Oh. The new dice are really cool. Yes. In, in, yes. In fact, I will probably be rolling my physical dice less tonight if we get into any combat situations or checks, just because it is as easy as one click and it does everything for me. It's so good. You know, I don't mind you, you know rolling one D20. Easy to do. Rolling five D6s while you're trying to add smite damage plus something else while you're in the middle of getting your head in something, sometimes a little convoluted. So this is a great way to do that. Now, remember, you have to be a subscriber. Subscribers are the people that get the alpha dice right now, but 
if you use D&D Beyond like we use D&D Beyond, it is a quality of life improvement that is fantastic. Highly, highly recommend it. Once again, thank you guys at D&D Beyond for insider access. You guys are rock stars. Thanks for helping us tell stories over here. And for Roll20, for giving us a beautiful battle map and a platform to play the music that you hear and we hear all at the same time, one big harmonious soundtrack fest. Thank you guys. Last week on Neon Regimes 2, Synthetic Screams, Waz and Cecil began to check out the apartment building, going room to room, locating the areas that had obviously been planted with artificial smoke. Detected by Waz, seeing that these were world sat infiltrators dressed as firemen, you guys went about clearing the third floor where both of you live, encountering multiple groups of enemies, some coming in from outside of the building, some already supplanted inside. You guys were able to make your way through the building, sometimes was tapping in to the own infrastructure and facilities inside of his building and out, having several out of body experiences, what seemed like his old owner, an apartment manifesting as his own difficulty. Thoughts in his head, not necessarily realities, but those thoughts of doubt and disapproval and a strong yearning to be accepted and to have made a former friend and father figure proud. Waz was able to resist that gauntlet and continue controlling aspects of the building as you guys made your way down and confronted a massive juggernaut where you guys were saved in the nick of time from big boy Grant and his flamethrower. Only to have moments later, Waz receive a mysterious call on his comms from a man named Julian, negotiating a possible exit from the building that Waz now owns and operates. As Waz flipped a middle finger to the air, the sound of sniper rifle fire cracked, glass breaking, and Waz dropping to zero hit points, hitting the ground. This is where we're going to pick up. Was. You open your eyes. You can feel the radiant heat of the sun coming in through the shades in the side. You can see a small aloe plant up on the window seal. Same couch you've been on several times, well broken. Crisp brown lazy boy. Smell of smoldering cigarettes. Zenith TV cart in front of you. And to your right, your old owner still banging on that remote cigarette in hand old grandfather clock ticking away just how long are you gonna lay there boy this is it huh this is my hell Jesus, Waz, why can't you fix the damn TV around here? Look 
What channel do you want to watch, Mr. Strickland? All right, I don't care what it is. Just get it off this damn news. Watts pushes himself up on the couch, lumbers over the TV and just twists the knob, trying to change the channel. Very familiar thing he's done many times, Strickland spot with that shitty remote that, that never works. As you turn the channel, it doesn't actually do anything to the TV, but Mr. Strickland seems relieved. Oh. What would I do around here without you? What? What? Goes over to dim the lights. It's too, it's too bright in here. There's no lights on. It's literally just the ambient light coming in from outside. <laughs> Not knowing where he is, he's just going to think about the lights coming down. <sighs> okay, was did you? <sighs> Did you check the security gates? Security is fine, Mr. Strickland. You know, like you've always asked, I keep a type chip. <sighs> Anything to make you happy, sir. Ah. Oh, that's good. That's good, Wash. That's good. You're, you're a good man, Was. You're a good, good man. And your eyelids flip open as you feel the jolt of adrenaline roll through your body. As you look up and you see Cecil in front of you. Get the fuck up, man. I need you to get up, man. We got Lost. trouble in here, man. Just laying there blinking. <sighs> that was my hell. Or this is my hell. Oh. What the hell? Somebody shot me. Stay down. Don't. As you currently look, I've got your body drug over here back behind a potted plant. I was dead, wasn't I, Cecil? Dead, dead, man. Mm. It's like Mr. Julian Adder is a snake indeed. I th thought he was just a corporate acquisitions offer. It seems we're dealing with someone who's a little more aggressive in WorldSat than originally thought to be. A little more aggressive? Yeah, you could say that, man. That sniper fire came from the window. That's why we're laying on the ground, man. Where's our, where's Grant? I'm over here, I'm hanging out in a, this isn't a window seal, this is a doorway. I almost said what I was <laughs> Hanging out in the doorway over here, brother. I suppose it would be too much to think that the outward facing security system of this building is still operational with someone like him on the outside. Technically, well, well, well. 
we are still in combat i need to roll one of my medical packs on you hey, let me know how many hit points because i have i just put one yeah uh, i can stabilize you so you, you got one i have actually never used a health pack before 1d6 plus four that's not bad it's not bad at all i mean it's better than one <laughs> you get six more points my dude hell yes thank you now does that take me uh yeah it's an action on a healer's kit uh, plus additional AP HP equal to the creature's maximum hit dice. Oh, so that's gonna keep going up. Oh shit, that's but that's it though. I get I get to use it once. I get to use that stim pack on you once. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh. So yeah, that's gonna be my turn to get you back up off the ground laid up against this plant before it's your turn was you hear another shot come firing in this time it attaches against the back wall as you can see, a zip line has been shot from what looks like across the street. Waz, you have a 1d10 inspiration. Thank you. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Oh, come on, what have I got in this arsenal of shit? All right, all right. Well. Is this floor smoky or is it cleared out on this floor? Smoke is largely cleared out on this floor now. to do on this one a couple of ways to go on it got a crafty sniper possibly on his way in on the zip line uh, he's uh, a... radio you also have a snake oil oh cool thank you oh damn snake oil card awesome Those are really going to come in handy in Cyberpunk. Yeah, you think? Um, there's nothing I can attack that I can see. That's all dried up. Oh, shit. All right. Well, it's going to be an interesting ruse, but we're going to try it. <clears throat> Waz is going to look over at Grant. Hide behind the door. Hide behind the door. Cecil, do you trust me? Fortunately, yeah, man, I do trust you. All right, because if he comes zipping through here, you're going to have to be the one to kill him. And... I hope you're ready for this. I'm going to cast Disguise Self, and I'm going to look like one of the firemen. And I'm going to point my gun at Cecil. Not a real gun, because nothing is real. But you see almost this digital changing that starts at his feet and goes whoosh, all the way up. 
Oh. Isn't that special? You know, I'm never going to look at a girl the same way at a bar again. Good news is, Cecil, you're not trying to sleep with me. <laughs> All right, use your action to sky self. You go to stand up. Correct? Yep. All right, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. That is going to be a 14. 14. Bullet whizzes by your head. <laughs> Into the back wall. Just gonna shout, friendly fire, friendly fire. All right, so I'm going to have you roll deception against Julian's perception. Okay. His perception <laughs> is a plus four. I'm going to give you one of these because it's a nat 20. <laughs> All right, we'll see what I got. Nat 20 plus eight. Mm. That's, that's my first nat 20 on that old D&D &D Beyond Dice. Let's go. Oh, I rolled, I rolled low. Let's go. Just Let's get those nat 20s in the chat. Just, just wanted a picture of that right there, baby. <laughs> oh, that's really weird. My stream deck has the old emote saved back in. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> that's pretty wild. All right, so as you finish up standing up, another shot does not come in. It's gonna shout, all clear on the second floor. I've got a man here, a prisoner. All right. I need you to roll a performance check. It's my performance these days. That one, it's gonna be a 14. 14, got it. Anything else for your turn? It's gonna stay here, locked in, committing to this. All right, we're going to add Grant into the initiative. Go ahead and take the juggernaut out. All right. Oh, wow. All right. So before Cecil's turn, because we're going to go ahead and move you just a little bit to the side now. Uh, put yourself in the, uh, the just a northern block there, just away from where I considered that potted plant to be radio. 
perfect. As you're gonna hear the glass from that apartment wall shatter and break as a man comes zip lining in through that window. As you look over, you can see large goggles on, cerebral scarves wrapped up around the face, paramilitary in dress, sniper rifle back up over the shoulder, and you can see another much, much larger drone come flying in back behind from the hole that he's busted out in the window. It's a quad flyer like Cecil's, but much, much larger and way, way more martially armed. As that drone comes flying in all the way up and over to the side, scanning the entire room. This is gonna be an investigation check with a plus eight. All right. You can look down and you can see the small markings of lasers going across your chest, analyzing your location exactly where you are at. I'm gonna roll an investigation check because you're currently holding one of those AK-47s next to Cecil's head as the world sat dressed up as firemen. I'm gonna make a roll an investigation check when he sees this. This is gonna be a plus two. All right, he's gonna drop down to one knee and turn and fire over at Grant that is over in the doorway. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a 19 on the first. When he drops down, pulls out a small sling submachine gun and begins to lay in bullets into that doorway. He's gonna hit Grant. He's gonna do 12 points of piercing damage. He's gonna, from where he's at, he's gonna keep way laying into Grant. Go ahead and public roll that bad boy again. Oh, this time, catches a little bit too much of that sofa in front of him. That drone is going to look down at where Cecil's at with the gun pointed at him. It fixes both of its guns on Cecil. That's gonna be a 17 to hit. That will hit Cecil. That's gonna do 10 points of piercing damage. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's 18. All right. No word spoken as Julian has busted through and it's just crouched back behind that couch. But he has not targeted you. Oh, that's gonna change. <laughs> I'm totally going to, uh, when I think about myself, uh, touch myself? No, I'm gonna use my second wind. Uh, 1d10 plus five, let's go. 
Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. The question, do I have that as a roll? No, it doesn't look like it. Dang. There's more feedback. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I want to be able to roll all my silly shit in here now. Oh, that'll be good. That's going to give me 10. Let's go. Gimme, 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 gimme. As after I'm waylaid with another set of bullets. <sighs> Tired of getting shot down here. Son of a bitch. And I'm going to get back. Uh, I'm going to get back up to my feet. And I'm going to, I'm going to go. I'm going to grab some cover. Since that drone is not right up on me, I'm running down this hallway and tucking behind the stairwell. Oh God, your initiative was horrible. Tell me about it. <laughs> All right, Grant's gonna pop out and try to use that flamethrower over on Julian Adder. Julian has a plus six to dexterity saving throws. Yeah. He's gonna be able to dip, duck and dodge and avoid taking any damage as Grant spins around. Why don't you suck on this, brother? And just completely roasts in between this couch and ottoman. <laughs> uh, Grant is gonna tuck back behind the doorway. All right, it's going to be your turn, Was. Well, son of a bitch. All right, well, at this point, I can see only one thing that I need to do. I'm going to drop the BS, pull back my hand, see those darts appear in my fingers and I'm going to throw them right at the drone. All right. Magic missile, baby. Oh yeah, auto hits. Let's go. That is going to do four points damage. Four points of damage. And then my happy ass is going to <laughs> jump down the staircase. So oh, then yeah. I got some, got some cover from what's going on above me. Oh God, I can see it already. They're going to try to shoot at you. It's going to go through the wall and get me. I'm <laughs> down below. <laughs> oh, there's a partition around there. Yeah, yeah. What have we got? Anything for bonus? Mm, nope. Let's go ahead and turn Grant's lighting on over here so we can uh, see the rest of that board. Boom. Let there be light. What do I got here? What do I need? What do I need? Right. Screw it. We're third. Julian is going to strafe sideways back over to this doorway. All right, strength check. Gonna kick that bad boy in. Yep, not a problem. Knocks that doorway in. Takes out a small round device pulls a pin and throws it your way near the stairwell all right 
I need you to make a dexterity. No, 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 not dexterity. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. You're going to be able to resist as a flashbang goes off as you're able to tuck and light your eyes up to where there's just no effect on your digital body. Julian is going to tuck in part of this doorway. That drone is going to be floating above in between both of you and it's going to split its fire as its tourist turn one trying to shoot in over at grant and one firing down at you it is going to miss grant uh let's with saying you're down i'm not going to be able to give you grant you any i'll give you a plus one ac for like residual smoke all right, I'll take it. That's hanging out down there. I rolled in that 20. Oh, well then you might as well kill me. <laughs> well, good news is this thing is split. So it's only gets half. So you're gonna take four points. <laughs> Jesus. Well, well, well. Best laid plans of mice and men. <laughs> it was tough. It was going to be a tough situation. It bought you around, though. All right, that's gonna be the end of, oh shit. I moved over the side and was like, where'd it go? Where'd it go? End of Julian's turn, Cecil's turn. This is this is a horrible spot to be in. Uh, I'm gonna send my drone over and use my, my last heal. Cause when I hear those guns go off, I'm just going to be going, oh no, oh no, oh no. All right. Oh God, that's just so low. I'm going to get you another eight points. I'll take it. Rolled a one and a three. <laughs> As my drone <laughs> swings back down and around and begins sealing up the exit wound on your digital body that shot through you from that Barrett. <sighs> Thank you, Cecil. Just give me a little digital back rub. <laughs> all right that's on my bonus action i gotta i gotta pop around this bad boy and shoot at it so i'm gonna flip around the side it's gonna have quarter cover so it's gonna have a plus two come on baby let's go that one no shit how many net ones am I gonna have in this fight? As I go to, I haven't reloaded my gun. It's classic FPS Robear. I've gone to reload as I've stepped out of cover. My ass is immediately, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Droid knows the hell out of there. Hmm. This is actually this is a this is a great opportunity right here. It's a great opportunity. 
Oh my god, this is perfect. Fantastic. So, end of end of Cecil's turn. On Grant's turn, he's going to look out and see that drone hovering there above the stairwell. He's going to get down in a three-point football stance and he's going to take off running as he's going to jump super plus style across and try to take this drone down with him through this to the first level to the stairwell of me let's go <laughs> Get it, Grant! Let's go! <laughs> Grant, Grant has a little bit of Marshawn Lynch's character in season three. I, I was going to say, he just needs a shirt that says amused right now. <laughs> By the way, what a great celebrity character. It's hands down, my favorite character right there <laughs> in the entire season. Next to, you know, of course, Paul. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be his athletics. His athletics is a plus eight. Come on, Dice, don't let me down. Let's go, baby. Big hits. <laughs> I'm coming for you, brother! As he jumps and super splashes. Taking that quad drone down with him, belly first down into the first floor i never i've never done wrestling style damage i don't think <laughs> uh, it's a it's a story drop so he's he's taking that one d8 for sure plus plus the body slam damage that's some force right there <laughs> let's go dude it's 18 points Please tell me that explodes that drone. He squashes it like a bug. Oh, DTD, my friend. Yes! Let's go, Grant! <laughs> the, the drone is out of commission. <laughs> Batteries not included. <laughs> Let's go. Perfect. This, this is exactly what leads in you as Grant's leaning over. As you can see a couple of those quad blades cut into his abdomen pretty good, but that thing is smashed. It's a hell of a move there, Grant. Uh, just get it out of son of a bitch, brother. As he's currently taking a one round loss from getting the air knocked out of him. He will not be in the next round of combat. That's understandable. It would hurt so bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, where am I? I gotta move up the stairs. So I know the area where Mr. Adder is. You currently don't know where he's at. I don't? You're pretty difficult at the bottom of those steps for you to know exactly where he went. Considering he was crouched back behind that sofa. Right. You would have to use your abilities to find out. Or my friends. No, because abilities assume an action. Unless I can use the ability as a bonus action to get into the system and see if I can find out what room he's in. I would let you do low level 
low level check as a bonus action. It's low level check. Show me where a massive heat signature might be on that side of the building. It'll be difficult, but it can be done. All right, fuck it. We're going to go for it. DC 17. Okay. That's the 19. All right. So with a 19, you'll know that it's tucked back into one of the apartment rooms to the right. Since you're just glancing, it's quick. It's hard to tell, but you know that he's somewhere to your left. It's perfect. He's, he's within range of what I want to do to him. <laughs> after after tapping into the system on the wall with my hand against it, I can read his heat signature in that apartment just outside the staircase to the left. I'm going to creep up the stairs. By the way, you have a lucky card uh, as well. Got it, thank you. Creep up the stairs and I'm gonna hold out my hand and I'm gonna blow out all these digital mites as I cast infestation on his ass. Ooh. He's in within 30 feet, I can get him. Yeah. That is, gonna, that is going to be a Constitution 13. Nanobots coming out. All right. Constitution saving throw. Plus two. Oh, ho, 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 ho. just saves. doesn't say anything if he fails so i guess he doesn't get hit it's a cantrip well, yeah yeah blow those little nanobots down and they go rushing off into the room don't do anything as they go in they're just not able to find his location back down the staircase again. I still have a link with Cecil. Comms? Y yeah. We, uh, we, yes, we, you do. Yeah. And for the rest of my action. Cecil, I, I sent my nanobots after him. They couldn't fucking find him. He's in the apartment to the left. Heat signature's vague. He's just inside the door. And get a shot. Grant's on his ass. And that's gonna be it for my turn. <laughs> Man, being level five is humbling, dude. Yeah, it, it is. It's humbling. I'm, I am, <laughs> I am tapped out for the boss fight. Oh shit! Like I can, I can roll to stabilize you and like drag your body off. Oh man. This is, this is terrifying. Because yeah, oh. I don't have any healing. It's not like I'm a paladin and I can do a little bit of healing just enough to help you. And I've already <laughs> used my second wind. Oh, I have one. Oh. All right. All right. Knowing, leveling up the odds on this, knowing that you are not in good shape and you've given me his location. Cecil's going to take a deep breath over the end. He's going to close his eyes. He's going to reload his gun this time.
and he's gonna grab two extra clips and I'm gonna burn my action surge. And I'm going full Leroy Jenkins. I'll see you in the afterlife, kid. Leroy Jenkins. Is I'm gonna move up around in in <laughs> over to this doorway. Oh my god. All right, I got four attacks. Don't let me down. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, shit. All right. First attack coming in is a plus seven. Sixteen will not hit. Shit. Dirty twenty will hit. There's one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. No! All right, so I'm gonna burn my one D8 on that 13. Come on, burst stone, not my burst stone. All right. Let's go. Seven, let's go. Dirty 20. Get you two out of four. God, why are things so hard at fifth level? Dude, I got a plus seven, man. I got the good. It's like as good as it gets at fifth level. <laughs> and I still suck. Oh my God, dude, I rolled a one. Three. And then I rolled max damage. I do 13 points. God. I do significant damage as I light up that room, emptying my clips. He's gonna do the same to me. Is he, uh... All right, is it, it's, it's, it's his turn? Uh, yes, it is his turn. Is Julian's turn. Any chance that I can, I already, did I already use the hero point last time? Yeah, you've already used your hero point. Crap. Uh, I got nothing. <clears throat> Arcane recovery, thank you. So, uh, with Arcane Recovery, I will be able to get one of my, uh, one of my drone sins back. Let's just, uh, let's see if I'm alive when I get to do it. Julian's gonna pop out that side of the door. <sighs> All right. He's gonna let it loose. He's got. Thirty twenty. that will hit. Seventeen will hit as well. Mm. My ass chat, my ass is about to get sore. Dude, I rolled the same on him.
Oh, and shit. It's eight in a one. So he does 13 points of damage to me. How fitting is that? Wow. Wow. All right. Seeing him come at me like that. I'm gonna have to counter back at him with my axe and surge, no doubt. Two more rolls coming in at Cecil. 18 will hit. I have 18 hit points left. Oh, let's go, baby! Let's go! As he runs out of bullets. <laughs> How much damage is, oh God, it's max. It's, oh my God. He, oh my God. So he's rolling an eight, so that's going to be 14 points of damage. Frigging crap. All right, I got four hit points left. My drone is disabled. All right, it's gonna be your turn. Oh, I get a nature, thank you. Did he come out of cover at all or is he still tucked behind that side of the door? So I've got no shot at him even if I come up the stairs. Still tucked behind that door. Mother of... <sighs> Didn't want to burn this on that. It's the only thing I can think I can do. Screw it. All right. Well, I know what end of the room he's in. And I can't get any, I can't run there quick enough. So guess what? We're going in the walls again. I'm going to use Misty Step to put myself on the other end of that room. Let's go! Bass Bro Sandwich! Yep. Waz knows what end of the room he's in as he closes his eyes and puts his hand on the wall and he vaporizes into the wall and drops on the other end. I assume that this is a low bar kitchen. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. So I've got maybe a little cover. And since that's my bonus action, I'm going to use. Come on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I know I have it on here. I don't have it on here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Ha <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get up in his uh, get up in his nuts with um, mind sliver. I'm gonna manifest one of those digital cards and flick it right at him. He's got an intellect save throw of thirteen. All right. Plus one. Oh, let's go! Yee 
Ha. Almost max damage for that one, too. He is going to take 11 points psychic damage. 11 points. Grabs in between the seams of his armor. He's going to be looking very rough. <sighs> Bonus action, action. I don't have any action surge cards. I got a lucky and a snake coil. That's not going to do anything for me right now. Is there anything left in the repertoire? Nope. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna gonna try and tuck behind what I can of the cover of this chintzy ass kitchen bar. Right. Hi, Julian. <laughs> Julian is going to dart running back. It's going to take one shot at you and one shot at Cecil. All right, first shot is going over at Cecil. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh no. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Please like roll double ones with this D8. Four. Oh yeah, I'm 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 out. I'm out. It don't it don't matter. I'm out. This is like it's slow motion. You see that small arms fire come in remembering Cecil is still in his underwear and trench coat <laughs> that's right I got him out of bed or off the toilet I should say Cecil's body hits the ground Julian turns his gun towards you was shot coming in 16 <sighs> yeah he'll hit what's the damage Well, was taking every inch of that fire, leans against the counter, closes his eyes. Another victim of corporate greed. Here's radio. <laughs> hey. 
And on that note, we're going to go refill beverages. Yeah, I'm going to go switch to the hard stuff. We'll be right back. Been ten. I'd have been all right. Oh well. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no cards when we're dead. It's reflections of my own private hell and a few death saving throws. <laughs> the cat gif no that's choice i like that well i mean it all comes down to death saving throws and what happens next does Julian, see, he's got both of them down. Go to finish the job. Or is he hurt to the point of where he needs to get out? Very similar situation in another campaign with a very evil SOB. Did a bit of business finishing when he walked him into the room. <laughs> True. Tomorrow's never guaranteed, though. When death is real in the campaign, it's all in the dice. We'll see what happens next. Trust me, final. That'll come into play if I need it, for sure. All right. My turn. unconscious on the ground I'm going to roll my first death saving throw as my mind and thoughts go 
and flashes back to better times up on top of the roof with my pals. Enjoying the better times, beers up on the roof, poker games, Gina's crazy ass pets. Even a memory of the last silk shirt that was wore out when we went to the clubs. And I told him it reminded me of Joe Exotic. Cecil fails that first death saving throw. We don't know where Grant is at currently. We don't see Grant. Was give me a death saving throw. Fail. Julian's head. peeks out from the doorway rolls a perception check on his bonus It is a nat one. <laughs> Gonna walk out over to Waz's body. It's gonna pull your head up and pull out from his pack a needle that he's gonna jam into the back of your neck. <laughs> that goes up to a small electronic pack. was when this does you can see yourself back inside Mr. Strickland's apartment again but this time it's more like Inception where you're there for minutes and you can see Mr. Strickland's cat run by over across the countertop not once but twice, three times before it starts to glitch and screen tear just a little bit. <clears throat> I 
is you can feel your own memories being siphoned from your body. And this memory, Waz walks over to Strickland. Bends down next to that old weathered armchair. Puts his hand on his face. I'm sorry. Your faith in me was ill placed. You charged me with protecting these people protecting this building keeping at least some semblance of hope in a town that overrun by gangs and corporate greed it's my own ego overzealous in my nature yes but thought we could win the day and I can feel it I'm leaving my 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 self I'm sorry Mr. Strickland just as you pre pre predicted I couldn't live up to being human. Cecil will roll another death saving throw. One success, one failure. Julian looks up. Too enamored with the two fresh kills that are in front of him. Not hearing the footsteps of Grant rush up the steps. Grant will once again come flying in with a lariat. Cause that's all he's got. Got to improv, play with what you got. Plus eight. Let's go! Finally, it breaks in our favor for once. All right, Grant gets a D6 on this clothesline. Oh, oh, five points of damage. Let's go! And he's got to make a he's got to make a strength saving throw to be able to still be up on his feet. His oh. strength versus Grant's. Let's go. No, it's just a saving throw. <laughs> Let's go. 
as Julian is leveled. With my reaction, I burn my arcane recovery card and my drone unlatches. as it hovers over my body and heads with its directive towards Waz. It ain't much, but it'll have to do, pig. Thank you. I don't know who gave me that arcane recovery. I know it was final in chat that told me I got it. But whoever just did it is a literal lifesaver. As it comes over. As you are brought to with full jack in the back of your neck. You are currently prone and still hooked up to this device. Funny part is, you're on the kitchen floor with Julian linked up. <laughs> How many points did I get out of that? Five. Holy shit. It is your turn. <laughs> is he still looking all fucked up right now yes good <laughs> I'm gonna hit him as hard as I can with this digital force wave it's basically my no you know what fuck that <laughs> Fuck that. I'm done. I'm done. I got one left. You smoke just, him if you got him, man. I'm 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 gonna hit him with the big dog. I'm, I'm gonna hit him with the the last magic missile I've got. Just on the floor, head down. Open Str up my hand. Just driving that digital spike in, or no, the magic missiles are your cards, right? Yeah, magic missiles are the, dart, the darts that I have in my hand. Okay, they're the darts. So that one right there is going to do... Uh, come on. There we go. That is going to do total damage. Six points force damage. With one point to spare DTD. Oh, sitting there on the floor, Jack in the back of my neck, just it's not even looking, knowing that where Julian is, because you can feel him in his head, generates these darts. And it's not so much as a throw as it is a thrust, as he just drives it into his body. Those darts just hitting him with this force damage so close. Crumpling him. Oh. Good God. We had to make it look like a Pulp Fiction scene, didn't we? No shit. Still linked up. You come over and you can see Julian looking up at you. No, 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 I, we can, we can pay for this. We can pay for this. It's like that moment in Saving Private Ryan where the German soldier slowly gives him the knife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you still tethered in. Finish Julian until his eyes grow cold and still. You pick up that box. 
just been downloading your memories. It is in your hand right now, still plugged into the back of your neck. It's gonna reach around, pull it out, wrap the cable and then wrap my hand with the box. I'm gonna put it in my pocket. That is for a later day. Right now, we need to help Grant. Can I search Julian's body for any sort of med kit? <laughs> yes, you can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plunder him like a drunk hobo on the side of the street that just passed out with a half bottle of Ripple. That Ripple's coming with me. There is one health stabilizer kit inside of it. It's a 1d8 plus three. Perfect. Finding that in his repertoire of shit, I'm just gonna run over and jam that health kit onto Cecil. Get up, you crazy son of a bitch. It's different. Did you, did you kill him, Moss? Only after he killed me. But from what I can tell, Grant leveled his ass. You're damn right, I did, brother. <laughs> Grant coughs up a little bit of blood over his flak jacket. <laughs> yeah, I did, brother. <sighs> and my head hurts. Well, actually, everything hurts. Jesus, was are you gonna pay the pest guys? All I can hear is that damn cricket ringing in my head. You know, Ugh. perhaps if you paid your rent on time, I could afford pest control. God, it's like it's in the back of my head. I can't get it out. Ugh. 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 Now you believe me the world sets after this place? Yeah. Yeah. I trust you. I yeah, trust you. Sorry, that, that whole trust thing didn't work out. I really thought he might ask questions before he shot all of us. I didn't know he had a drone. We didn't know it was that kind of Merc, man. I get up and hobble my ass over, smearing blood all over this apartment. Kind of look over his body. They really wanted your building, man. Our building. our building but not today brothers not today as you guys can hear the sirens come to be non-existent anymore outside Gonna go all look out the window for a second that was busted out. No more signs of a fake fire department. 
residents still all kind of oblivious outside slowly but surely making their way in even though there's smoke still pouring out of some places It's almost beautiful, isn't it? Almost. Almost beautiful. Maybe a shithole. Do you know what was? It's our shithole. Took the words right out of my mouth. You know what? With this throbbing headache and that. I might even pay my rent on time. <laughs> I would make promises that you can't keep or don't plan on keeping. But. I think you've negotiated your reduction in rent for this month. So a couple of days late, it's not going to hurt. Pulls out his credit disc. Punches in the auto debit. In the precise day. And it's an old school one, man. It looks like a Motorola StarTech. Some old tech man. Looks more like an old digital alarm clock than it does a credit disc. Punches in the day. Clicks and sends it off. I don't always have to be an asshole, especially to my friends. I've been good for it. Cecil, we friends now? Looks like you're stuck with me, dude. Well, I guess it's better than idle conversation next to you while you're in the bathroom taking a So I'll take friends. I like friends. Idle conversation on the shitter is being friends was that is being friends noted well we got quite a mess here brothers How do we get this all cleaned up? You too? You're coming with me. We're gonna go see Rex. I've already dispatched cleaners. They'll be here in the next 24 hours. Sorry. Let's go talk to Rex. I shouldn't tell you how to do your job. Ah. It was a pleasant reminder. I actually didn't think about it until you mentioned it. But luckily, I have them on speed dial. All right. Then we will go get cleaned up. We will go see Rex. His grant limps. His beaten up body over into his apartment it's the front door is now <laughs> you can see charged from his flamethrower that he used it's gonna need some paint it'll be need a little bit more than paint Cecil they'd be surprised what I've done in this place with just a little paint and spackle oh I can smell it (laughs) 
when you smelled black mold, man, it's got a certain Jenny Kesswa, man. I'm telling you. I don't smell any black mold. Besides, it's all been painted the same color as the walls. If you smelled it, would you care anyway? I guess all the musk smells the same. I just shake my head. Throw my arm up over Waz's shoulder. Come on. Let's go put on some clothes that don't have bullet holes on them. Yep, I've got just the silk shirt picked out. All right, go ahead and take a beautiful, beautiful short rest that I did not think that we were going to have a second ago. <laughs> oh, man. see here short rest let's use hit die oh man let's max that shit out yep eight eighteen twenty two thirty two we're going for broke baby Let's go, Max. I had to burn all my hit dive, but I got it. Ooh, and I get a, oh, let's go. I get one of my drones back on a short rest. Let's go, let's go. Beautiful. Had to go bully some crickets. Thank you. That thing was gnarly, dude. <laughs> Welcome to warm weather. <laughs> I gotta get that, uh, gotta get that new card, man, so I can cut that thing out digitally. No crap. I gotta give it the was treatment. <laughs> Let's check out that digital noise. Holy shit, guys. I can't thank you guys enough for those cards. Otherwise, we're going to have... I don't know, man. It, it would have been a, a drag-out fight with Grant. It might have... He might have won. He might not have. I, it would have been back up to the dice again. <sighs> I can't believe that, dude. Fitting that it was that close at the end because, man, I had 11. He hit me with 12. Dude. So we'll get a couple beverage sips in. Whew. Yeah. I believe <laughs> that is the closest we've come in a campaign to a uh i mean we we've had some close calls on fridays but well, <laughs> that was like oh, with only oops. two with only two of us in the roles us all tanking and him getting an at 20 that's where it happens yep <laughs> jeez by the way your connection's starting to go if you got anything running in the background nah i'm just taking a hit yeah beautiful beautiful isp mm-hmm there it is, back to green. As soon as I start to run speed tests, it's like, oh, wait, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing there's to nothing see here. here. There's nothing to see, nothing to see. <laughs> Grant makes it back into his room. 
runs the faucet. Washes up a little bit as the red blood starts to flow. Gets out the old skeptic pencil. Ugh. Stings like a son of a bitch. Gets himself to stop bleeding like a stuck pig. Takes his old military kid out. reaches out and grabs the small pinball like chrome orb as he takes that chrome orb places it inside next to one of the bullet holes as it seems to dissolve almost like into a liquid form. Slitters and comes back out outside the womb, pulling shells out. With a pile of shells laying on top of his countertop seals and cauterizes up the rest of the wounds with what looks like a really gnarly soldering iron hobbles over gets out his old favorite leather bomber jacket beat up pair of blue jeans he chuckles as he looks down he reaches past and pulls out an old pair of Doc Martens smiles when he looks down at him something makes him remind him of the past Laces those wax string Doc Martens back up. Goes back into the bathroom. Take a leak. Waz, what do you do? Waz is just in the bathroom. Thing that looks like a, looks like a UV scanner. Standing in the mirror, running it over bullet holes. And it looks like it's just repetitively scanning them. You can almost see coming up from each wound where it's not really bleeding, but there's a, there's a hole. It's fixing little pieces of code every time he swipes it another layer comes up back and forth just observing how it's all healing sees this silk shirt bullet holes in it that he can't fix just tears it off and throws it on the ground. Stands there and see still a few holes left in his body that he has yet to patch. Looks at himself in the mirror. defines you
Why do you persist? We made a friend today. He smiles. You haven't had a true friend since Mr. Strickland. Although, in our memory, that seems to persist. You're not human, Waz. You keep trying. Fight that fight. Do what's right. He sets his scanner down, looks in the mirror, and tries to flex what he can. It doesn't really change his body contour. It just. waves his hand in the air for a second all of a sudden <laughs> big arms pecs six pack just looking yoked like he Ooh. was a version of Grant <laughs> <laughs> that's not you wipes his hand back and <laughs> his normal slender body We made a friend today. Picks up his scanner, starts to scan the rest of his body while he goes into his pristine bedroom, grabs another shirt, exactly the same shirt as he just had. Same color, same make, nothing different. In fact, his closet looks like that. It's dusters that are all the same, leather shirts that are all the same, pants that are all the same, and a line of boots on the ground that are all exactly the same. So he starts to button up his shirt, walks back towards the bathroom. Cecil, you still alive? Damn right I am. Gives a couple of knocks. Against that paper thin wall. You can hear the flush of the toilet. I only assume you feel better now. I always do. Thank you for today. Oh, thank you, man. We both had each other's backs out there. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll admit. After... I woke up from my own private hell. I was a little scared. Of course, I was a little scared when that giant grabbed me as well. We're now standing both outside of our dar doorways, locking our apartments. Damn it. That, that was no joke. You know, you know what? You know what? Felt different today. It's because I actually gave a shit, man. Because you were fighting for a cause. It wasn't just money. It was home. But it's even a little bit more than that. 
most of the time it's it's just me i don't know who's in the back seat i don't know what's there just drive when it's done it's done it's not a lot of choice not a lot of freedom in that man Today, I had a choice. And it was unbelievably stupid. But I made that choice. And I can live with that. Now, I'm going to make another choice that is equally as stupid. Not gonna hit me, are you? No. I'm gonna go drink for drink with Grant. Oh. This should be a fun night. Are you sure that's the wisest thing you could be doing with the brain cells you have left? As I see it. When I finish these fuckers off, you can just fix it right up. How does the back of your neck feel? And I creepily, yo, I'm trying to go and see where you jam that needle in the back end of you. Is that like, is that like your third hole, man? What is it? It's called a forced data point. And from what I can tell, he was trying to download my mind. I'm glad nobody's ever put it in my fourth data point, you know, without me asking. I don't know. I could be in that. I just never had it happen. It's an interesting sensation. It's kind of like slowly forgetting yourself. That's absolutely horrible i will uh i recant anything about the fourth data point still reminds me i do have that little box i wonder if there might be something in there that i might not be able to access just be something to do while you're going drink for drink with grant i guess can Give yourself a program that, I don't know, you know, buzzes you up a little bit. I can modify my consciousness to do whatever. What a weird life it is. It's weird that you use this consciousness and life next to you letting me call you friend it's a very nice thing to say i'm just a dumb monkey and you're just a dumb program modeled after dumb monkeys come on let's get out of this place for a minute let's go meet grant down in the lobby Sounds like a plan. As we make our way down the steps, you can hear Gina's pets going ape shit past the second floor. You know it's in good shape. You can see the cab has already been hailed up front. Grant with his dreads pulled back tight. Slick black and electric yellow jacket. 
some massive cargo rave pants, all electric yellow. Seems like, like it comes up to today. infinite. <laughs> infinite hammer loops on infinite hammer loops. No doubt some badass sneaks. Same black and electric yellow. Come on, brother. We ride in style. It's a black hover car comes up. Equally ridiculous tent. Black Grant, car. I want me to go shopping with you one of these days. I might want to diversify my wardrobe. Oh, no, we could never get you out of them silk shirts, baby. It's your calling card. We need to get you a different color silk shirt. It's red not fitting. Just shakes his head. Is that hover car door latches back behind us as we begin to fly away we can see out of the corner of our eye Doc Carver is still out there heavily hitting that pipe still standing out there in his scrubs How long do you think he's been out there? Sometimes I wonder about the good doc. He's a stressed out man. He's a busy area, you know? Busy area. Busy for sure. But a good man he is. So if he wants to smoke like a chimney, let him I guess we all have to find some way to blow off steam right Grant that's oh, right brother that was one of the most amazing tackles I've ever seen of a drone when you're oh. out of fuel sometimes you gotta improvise Cecil I don't know if you saw it but he literally ran and leapt on top of it body slamming it from the second floor to the first. I'm not surprised by this in the least, but I'm just really upset that there's not a video and it's not somewhere on the internet. You have got to pull that from the security <laughs> cameras. Remind me when I get back and we'll push it out on the tube. Who knows? Maybe might make the latest vid of the day considering <laughs> nothing of what happened at the building managed to make the evening news brother i'm not gonna lie i got that flamethrower out because i was gonna put the rest of my apartment on fire until i found out it was bullshit i wasn't gonna live in no half burned apartment brother <laughs> you're an odd duck grant I'm so glad we could finally get the flamethrower reference out. <laughs> Why he had one. He was gonna burn the rest of his apartment. I just figured he's the kind of guy who's gonna have a flamethrower. <laughs> he's the kind of guy that's got a flamethrower, but yeah, he was ready to roast his son of a bitch and leave. I'm just glad I don't have to burn the rest of my shit, brother. Could have got a little nasty. What's the logic in burning everything? You think insurance is gonna take care of that? I got rid of insurance, Waz. You think I'm gonna trust you to pay for my shit? You crazy, Waz. You been you been hanging out in uh, QuickBooks too long. It's true. I have done 
way too many damage assessment forms already this evening. Good news is Strickland had a very decent insurance policy for fire. And you left us with just enough to prove that there was actually a fire. Well, that's good because that old man, he's smoking like a chimney. I remember old man Strickland. He smoked, he smoked more than Doc Cobb over there. It's one of the few times I'm glad I can't smell. Because having had to pick a few cartons up from the sea store, they were never expensive cigarettes either. Man, life too short to be smoking that, man. Life too short to be smoking that, brother. Oh, look at here. Hover car slowly comes up. In front of a gnarly dive bar, not too far from the combat zone. Here we are, boys. As we peel out, I'm gonna make this totally look like the bar that we always go to at PAC South that's underneath the McDonald's, recessed down into the ground on the rocks, if any of you have been there. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncer at the recessed steps. <clears throat> Waiting to check our IDs. As we go in and make our way into a long shotgun bar that's way too damn loud. Full of neon teal blues and pinks. That nice bar humidity that you just can't ever get rid of just hot mop water and stale beer eclectic scene you can see half orcs trolls elves humans ai full spread very eclectic group inside this bar, which it has no name listed outside. Did you walk through the bar? Finding Rex. <laughs> Go ahead, roll a perception check, Waz. Let's use that third dice on perception. That is gonna be an 11. 11 as you're walking past a couple of dudes in leathers up by the the front of the bar you can see contain both bottom and top rockers with a particular gang emblem in the center of a heartbeat that seems to flatline. As you walk past a couple of those, Grant still leading you through to a corner booth. There's a large grizzled half orc bandana over his long pulled black hair. As Grant comes over and gives him a massive hug. 
Uh, good to see you, Quack. <laughs> As he squeezed him. Oh, oh, oh I'm not there today, brother. Oh, oh he squeezes back. We had a long day over the building, Rex. We had a long day over the building. Long day in the building, brother. Oh, is that so? Look. You brought Tweedledee and Tweedledum with you as well. <laughs> Gentlemen. Welcome. Waz just reaches into his pocket, dangles that digital device. So tell me, Rex, why would WorldSat be interesting in jacking my building and stealing my core? Well, that's a good question, isn't it? <laughs> Probably the answer that you seek. The same reason that World said takes any buildings, was. I wanted to put a big old bitchin' tower up where your building was. There's gotta be a reason they're moving in on your territory to do this. They've left you alone up until this point, haven't they? This is not my goddamn fault. No one told me they were scoping the neighborhood. Bada, 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 bada. They come up, we're playing poker game up on a roof. They talk about, they said they got a few black cars out in front. Well, I said they got a few black cars out for I want to come talk to the Rex. Now, what if I send everybody over your way? Everybody sees a black car come over to Rex. Now, if you tell me, you tell me I got to use my discretion, brother. I use my discretion. He said there's just a couple of the black cars over there. In one day, we have one day and then boom, we get all of this shit. Grant looks over at you, Waz. I'm sorry. I said that right now. We're here at this table where everybody's sitting. I'm sorry. I didn't trust you. But you gotta remember. I'm just trying to filter out the bullshit, you know? What's done, Grant? What's done is done. Now the question is, what is our next move against WorldSat? since they've already moved against us. Now that your little communication shit show is over, next time you see anything over there, you tell me, goddammit! There he is. Direct line I can tap into because I'd love to add you to my directory. He slides over his contact. And get a hold of me. But it better be goddamn important. Well, I was just taps it, downloads it into his head. Only life or death situations. Yeah. What are you gonna do now that we know that they want our place to be a big old bitch in tower? Is it just gonna be that? It's gonna be left alone and they're gonna cut their losses? Or are they gonna come in twice as hard?
Thank you. Depends on the resources that we have at hand. Well, we know we've taken one of their resources. Their acquisition streamliner, Julian Adder. You gotta be shitting me. I sent Julian in. They did. And thanks to Cecil and Grant, he's not around anymore. He's the one who tried to steal my core. That son of a bitch always thought he was slicker than dog snot. Earth, come here. Get us another round over here. I don't know. What do you AIs do in this social situation? Since we have AIs here, I don't want to culturally put words in your mouth. What What do you typically like to do? So, there is a way to get intoxicated. <laughs> it's a radiolarian fluid shot. It has a little bit of corrupted data in it. Oh and God, I've been doing these radio flurian shots my whole life. <laughs> and what it does is it corrupts your code and makes you feel drunk. And the more you drink, the drunker you get. And there's no way to get rid of it until your core processes out the code, which usually takes about the same time it takes us to process alcohol. Chat, this looks like Vex milk, if you want to know. It looks Spoil. like Vex milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's, Cade's, so it's Cade's drink? So it's yes, Cade's, Cade's drink? drink. You got it! You got it! <laughs> it's Kate. It's Kate Six's drink with little digital ice cubes in it. Yep, hundred <laughs> percent. Well, it'll have some Vex milk before you know it. <laughs> I thought Zavala was awoke. Oh God! Here, get you. We just made some radio Florian, you know, bullshit scrambling signals here. So. I think you're thinking what I'm thinking. I'm not gonna sit around here and have these swerve set son of a bitches come back into our turf and hit us again. How about we go make a point? What kind of point do you want to make? The kind of point that drops down communications for a while. Sounds like it's right up my alley. Brute force? Or do we sneak our way in? First we sneak. And then we brute. <laughs> it's been a good long time since I hacked the fortified system outside of my own. I'm down for the challenge. Call it getting even. I owe you this, brother. I am in two. Cecil? What else was I doing in the first place? <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm in, man. Let's do this. Let's do this shit, man. I was hoping you would say that. Well, 
since we're all in agreement. I want you to meet a couple of friends. And that is where we will end this week. <laughs> and I just got that damn credit to shut up. <laughs> Gotta toss that layup so we can work some folks in next week. Oh, man. We got our first job, baby. Oh. Outside of surviving? Oh. Dude, I, I, I thought, wow, <laughs> out of all the time I've been waiting to play this character, week three, dead. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> had we, dude, had we not had Grant, that would have been a two-man situation? I, I mean, we might have died on the stairwell. We could have rolled out, yeah. It, we're 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 lucky. Now I would have probably got shot. I would have probably I would have probably died. You had you were an asset though. If the worst case scenario, more than likely you still would have died. Or you would you would have been had a chance for your death saving throws while he was downloading you. But yeah, <laughs> it was not a perfect corporate slave to world set. It, oh. it was not good. Yeah, it was not good. It was not good at all. <laughs> it was not good at all. You guys saved our ass. Oh, Once it again, was the stairway to heaven. You don't think those community cards do anything? Proof right there. They can save a party. Greatest arcane recovery of all time. Got me one drone shot left. Ugh. So good. What a what a Tarantino scene in there, man. I saw that like that was so cool and vivid in my mind. Those the bullets, and then in the end, you know, it's just it's just this nasty melee of blood against white tile and the linoleum in the kitchen cheap kitchen and just a a, a gory scene you wouldn't want to see anywhere oh, and you just get to data spike him to the end mm. oh, oh, oh. so satisfying it worked out perfect with grant knocking him to the ground so he was there so you could just oh, just roll over that's exactly what's just roll over and magic missile those darts right into his gut Oh, so good, man. I wanted to slowly slide my blade into that cricket. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've had that cricket before, but man, that thing, it wanted to get loud tonight. Yeah, I, I think it's over on this side, which is why I kept throwing things over there to try. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeeting things that way. <laughs> Literally, I have yeeted so much of the crap that's sitting around my desk. I've chucked batteries over there. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna close the garage door tomorrow and let the cat in, so Oh Fortuna <laughs> Oh Problem is she likes the spiders more than she likes the pincher bugs and the crickets. I mean that's that's a cat thing though. I I, I didn't know that I didn't know they preferred. Oh dude, this cat eats spiders like it was cotton candy. Just what? <laughs> Maybe it acquired a taste when it was out on the streets. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Dude, the cricket's got to be juicier than that spider, man. I would hope, damn. At least. Jeez. Yeah. What the? Yeah, you're like, Fortuna, you don't come in here until those crickets are done. Exactly. You're going to spend all afternoon in here with me <laughs> while I'm working. You're gonna eat that cricket. <laughs> it's gonna. What what happened the last time? You had to get it out of the crawl space. <laughs> yes. Last time she was up up in the attic above me. How did she even heard, get up there? <laughs> so where the furnace used to be in the room next to me, there's a crawl space that you can yeah. get up into the attic on. So she just jumped her happy ass up a floor, and uh, and you know was making her way through the attic.
Cats are adorable, terrifying, and crazy all at the same time. That's why they're so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I, they just inspire me to run sideways at 3 a.m. <laughs> with the bare minimum. <laughs> Uh, oh no dude we got we got to bust out some musical tracks i didn't think we'd have to bust out on episode three i don't think there's anything more defining than us going for beverages at the same time and just cueing the music and walking away a true level five moment <laughs> a true level five moment grabbing a beverage and pacing the floor before i sit back down going how how do my how am i out of this how am i out of this please don't come back and kill me please don't come back and kill me because mm. <laughs> i can see him popping his head and be like cool they're down and then just pop 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 pop, <laughs> pop. and then finishing what he set off to do if you were not an asset yeah if you if you were not an asset bad news bears and the nat Got one it. let's not forget the nat one dude oh well, on his check to see if there's anyone yeah. else around on his perception check i rolled a nat one with one of the uh using the uh one of the old uh for namesake dice oh nice oh look look at that beauty chat namesake got us some amazing dice last year and this is one of the metal ones oh so good i got one like it but mine's got patina yours is yours is very <laughs> history very history uh still trying i'm trying to find a place i can get silk dice for waz but you know we'll, we'll worry we'll bet. We'll <laughs> yeah i'm i'm excited to uh we should be able to have some new folks with us next week we got a good base now i'm 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 ingrained. We have a call to action now. There's a reason why we give a shit. It'll be a first mission that we take. Where we're like, these guys tried to take our home. Like, I think that's a great way to enter into cyberpunk. Hell yeah. Especially with all the corporate greed. M maybe got to yep. look at one of those, uh, those biker gangs that float around. What, what are we? What are oh, they, um... yeah. For all the, for all the uh, neon regimers, we got a flatliners crew in here. Yeah, good callback from original Neon Regimes. Couldn't get rid of the gang, man. Flatliners is too good. Booster gangs, baby. Booster gangs. That was a, that was a cute callback. I, I enjoyed that thoroughly. But trying to play like I didn't know like what it was. <laughs> yeah, what, what is that, man? What, what is that over there? <laughs> That's a nice check. What, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, cool, man. Well, you know what? We're going to go ahead and take off for the evening. I know it's so weird when I look at 1270. I'm like, oh, we got plenty of time. I'm like, no, we actually start early. Yeah, we start early so we can get a good night's sleep tonight because tomorrow, Torment's Quest. Hell yeah, Torment's Quest. Can't well, wait to go questing around with Gail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for it. I think we should send this send this bad boy off in fashion where we start it with a little purple Voyager. Oh, you give it to me. That right there, man. All right, Sets guys. Sets the tone every single week. Be good to each other. And remember, wash your damn hands. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow night.